Okay, so time to have a go at some practice exam questions. First one. Sodium is a metal in group 1 of the periodic table. It has 11 electrons. Part A. Draw the electronic structure of sodium. Part B. Complete the table to show the numbers of each type of subatomic particle in sodium. And part C. Sodium metal cannot be extracted from its ore by reduction with carbon. Explain why. So for electronic structure you should have drawn two electrons in the first shell, eight in the second and one in the outermost shell. For the subatomic particles you should have given 11 protons and 12 neutrons. Sodium can't be extracted from its ore by reduction with carbon because it's higher up the reactivity series or more reactive than carbon. Give the general formula for alkanes. Part B. Fuels contain alkenes as well as alkanes. Give the chemical test and the positive result for alkenes. Part C. Give three products of the partial combustion of petrol in a car engine. And Part D. Why is it that the combustion of some fuels may produce sulphur dioxide as a waste gas? General formula for alkanes is CnH2n plus 2. Chemical test for alkenes is to add bromine water. The positive result is that it decolorizes in the presence of the double bond or the alkene. Three products of the partial combustion of petrol in a car engine. You could have had carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, sulfur dioxide, and water. And why is it that the combustion of some fuels may produce sulfur dioxide as a waste gas? This is because sulfur is present as an impurity in some fuels. Describe how crude oil is separated into its different fractions. Firstly, it's heated to vaporize it. The liquids flow to the bottom of the fractionating column. The vapors rise up and they condense when they reach their boiling points. A manufacturer of a butter type spread states that our spread is made from 100% plant oils, so it's healthier than butter. Is his statement justified? Explain why it is or is not justified. Well, plant oils are high in unsaturated fats, so they're healthier than animal fats, which is what butter's made of, but they're hardened to make them solid at room temperature. Hardening increases the proportion of saturated fats, therefore, it's no healthier at all. The limestone cycle is shown below. How is limestone, calcium carbonate, processed in order to turn it into calcium oxide? Part B, state one use of calcium hydroxide solution. Part C, nitrogen oxides produced in vehicle exhaust gases dissolve in rainwater to form nitric acid. This falls as acid rain. Explain how the nitrogen oxides are formed. Two marks. And part D, limestone blocks are used as building materials. They react with the nitric acid present in acid rain, which eventually wears away the stone. Balance the equation for this reaction, shown below. Part A. How is limestone processed in order to turn it into calcium oxide? It's heated in a rotary kiln, or you could have said it's thermally decomposed. Part B. 
State 1 use of calcium hydroxide solution is used as an alkali for neutralising acids or it's used as a test for CO2. Explain how nitrogen oxides are formed in vehicle exhaust gases. Well, nitrogen and oxygen are present in the air. They're not present in the fuels, they're present in the air. And they react at the high temperatures in the car engine. And part D, balance the equation for the reaction between calcium carbonate and nitric acid. You should have realised that there should be a big 2 in front of the HNO3. Mining and quarrying are large-scale operations which source many important materials needed for industry. However, these operations cause much disruption to the local area and many people object when companies apply to locate mines and quarries in their area. Evaluate the environmental, social and economic arguments for and against large-scale mining and quarrying. So for five or six marks, a clear, detailed explanation of the arguments. Environmental arguments, it destroys habitats, it produces CO2 and other emissions, and it produces waste materials which must be disposed of. Those are all disadvantages, no advantages environmentally. Social, the dust, the noise and the traffic cause a local nuisance, but they do create jobs in the local area. Economic, it boosts the local economy, quarry and mine workers have money to spend locally, and it provides materials essential for industry. Copper is extracted from copper ore by a process of smelting, followed by purification, which may involve electrolysis. Copper ores containing high amounts of copper are running out, so companies are developing new ways of extracting copper economically from lower grade ores. Part A. Explain how phytomining is used to extract copper from low grade ores. Three marks. And part B. The copper produced from phytomining may be in the form of copper ions in copper sulphate solution. Give two ways of extracting pure copper from copper sulphate solution. So how is phytomining used to extract copper from low-grade ores? Firstly, plants are grown on the ores. Secondly, the plants are burnt. And thirdly, the copper is extracted from the ashes. Give two ways of extracting copper from copper sulphate solution. You can either put in scrap iron, which displaces the copper, or you can separate it using electrolysis. Ethanol is an important chemical used in industry and it may be burnt as fuel. Part A, ethanol can be produced using sugar cane as a starting point. Write the word equation for this reaction. Part B, what other method is widely used for producing ethanol? Give the details of this method for three marks. The word equation for producing ethanol from sugar cane is sugar as you know, will be fermented with yeast and produces ethanol plus carbon dioxide. The other method widely used for producing ethanol is to start with ethene as the raw material. It's then hydrated with steam in the presence of a nickel catalyst at a high temperature. Air is a mixture of different gases. Define mixture. And part B, how can air be separated into its constituent parts? The definition of a mixture is something which contains two or more different types of particle which are not chemically joined. How can air be separated into its constituent parts? You'll cool it. The different parts will condense at their different boiling points.